Hi, <laughs> MJ. Yeah. You look like you just rolled out of bed. Everyone always is saying this on every video we do. MJ looks like this. MJ looks like this. MJ looks like you just did this. Why is MJ doing this? Enough. What do you mean, MJ? Calm down. I don't know. I just, I just rolled out. Look of at bed. all this stuff. Like look so. at all this. Well, folks, as you know, again, we have a PO box, right? We do. On the side of this video is the address. And every Friday we go to our P.O. box and show what you guys out there send to us. And we open it and hope we don't explode. I don't see how... how could but, I, don't worry about it, but you know what I mean. How could anyone so, out there rig something to explode? I don't know. So as we always say, see you next Friday. And we'll see whatever we get next Friday from all of you out there. And thanks again for everyone for sending things. Now should we open the, the things? I don't know. The letters, the letters first. Yes, yeah, so open the letters first. And this is from... Um, Mr. Matt. All right. No, not you. It's not for me? No. Well, I don't know who it's for. I'm reading it, so it's for whoever it's for. Dear Don and Murph, I want to take the time away from your show time. I don't want to take time away from your show time and your family and friends, but I do have some questions regarding the Don and Murph show. I wanted to know when you guys go to buy new DVDs, what stores do you go to to buy them? Just wondering. Well, where do you go, MJ? I don't buy new DVDs. You don't? No. Oh, I go to Best Buy. Best Buy is really the only place I go to. And I go to, I go to Walmart for some cheaper ones, and then I go on Amazon. Two, I wanted to, know, to make a video on YouTube, like you two guys do. What, what would I have to... No. Where did you get your webcam? My computer is a compact cube. Well, the webcam's just built into this iMac, so we don't know. It's already just on there. Three, I would like... I love it when you write me back to mail me a Don and Murph t-shirt with the website on. I promise I wear, I wear an XL. Well, we don't actually know how to make more of those shirts because they were made years ago. We'd have to have a find, find a new way to make them, wouldn't we? Thank you for your time and effort to read my fan letter, Don and Murph Show. Matt, I will be in touch. Please write me back regarding this letter. Thank you for your time and effort. Thanks, Matt. The next one is from Susie. Can I read this one? All right. I'm opening it up for you. Read it. And I hope these people knew that if they didn't want us to read these out loud, that... Like, Whoa! Who's uh, that hottie on the front? I'll show it. Wow! Wow! Show it again! Wow! Sweet! <laughs> Look at all these stamps. What the hell? Alright. Stickers for your collection. Dear Don and Murph, my neat little envelope. Sniffle. Sniffers. Sniff. How are you? I think it's special how you take the time to share with the public what the two of you found near P.O. Box. Love, Susie Sweetly. By the way, i just like to add that Susie Sweetly is by far the hottest member of the Brothers Hicks. We would love to have a three-way tongue kiss with her yummers. What? I don't get it. Put that away, MJ. And don't. You're holding it. How can I put it away? I don't know. Do you want to read that one or do you want me to? I'm reading it. All right, I read the next one. This is from. Um, don't rip open. Hannah too. and Matt. Don't rip open too fast. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Matt. Don't uh oh, rip open. do you think it has like confetti in it? So don't rip open too fast. Kaboom. How can a bomb fit in an envelope? I don't know, MJ. You're really just, just be quiet. You're nuts about the bomb thing. I know, be quiet. You'd be quiet. As in case you're wondering, we got up at 7 o'clock this morning to try and do this video. And yeah, and, and it was just... We'll have to see what happens with it. And yeah, by that hour, I'm still asleep. I'm not supposed to be awake that early. It's something from China. Let's see. From the Olympics. What is this? I think this is from China itself. Issued by the State Postal Bureau. There's like two different things in it. This one says, to whoever reads this first, laugh out loud. Well, I know that you guys won't make it to, to the wedding, but that's okay. I'll make sure it makes it YouTube. Um, it makes it on YouTube for you. I might send you a piece of cake, too, to you guys. Laugh out loud. Just kidding. 
Well, I wouldn't mind a piece of cake. I'd like it cake. It might be molded by then, but we're all right with that. Well, well, I just... Well, I got a jet. Later. Take care. Oh, what do you guys want for Christmas? What would you want for Christmas? Maybe to hang out with these people? I don't no, know. Like what gift? I was like, they want to know a gift. I can't think of any... I, I'm well, I know a funny one. One of those foot spots to put your feet in. Do you know those things that, like, massage your feet? Well, that's what you want. I'd like one of those and massage my feet. All right. And what, what, what about you? Would you like, um, you know, what would you want? I can't think Just of think any- of something silly you I can't want. think of anything right now. Well, I'd like a foot spa. P.S. A big teddy bear. I don't know. Oh, by the way, if you were planning on sending us anything for our wedding, Hannah. I would love. Would love an autograph from you. From you. Later. Mm-hmm. We'll have to keep that and send them an autograph. Yes, we'll, so we'll send you an autograph. And here's the wedding invitation. They invited us to their wedding? Yeah. What? It's in Missouri, Mississippi. CMJ, we could go to a fan's wedding. That'd be nice. We don't want to say where it is, though, because we don't want the whole wedding to be stalked. No, we don't stalk the wedding. It's a, stru- it's a stupendous occasion of two who are meant to be together, and we don't want any of you butts getting in the way. No, does any people who are watching our butts, our butts, who would do something like that, but we know most of the people who are watching this don't do that, so we don't have to worry about that. Yes, the next letter. Kind of looks like it was What's already open a little bit. This... The comics for Sean. I guess it's for me then. This is from Josh. But I'm reading this one. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Kaboom. It's a good piece of candy. Oh, it's like I think. Oh, piece of candy. There's all these like ew. It's like pre chews. What are these? It's for you, Sean. Are these fizzies? I don't know. I don't know. So, do you see that? It's a Spider-Man comic book, MJ. They gave that to you over me. Spider-Man kids. And that's Spider-Man looking the good way, MJ. Let's see. Wait a minute, you got something here. This is for Dweebo. Hold that up. Turn around. And then show the other one. That's for Dweebo. Hold it up so they can... They can see it. See? And that's for Dweebo. And this is for me. And it's from YouTube user Venom1276 Returns. And here's this. And this one's for you, MJ. This one's for you. You show that. Dear Sean and MJ, when will you, you see another video with Dweebo? I drew these pictures for you guys because you are my idols, along with Don and Murph. I hope to see you on Stick'em again. Here are some drawings along with icebreakers. <laughs> Friday, October 3rd is my aunt, my birthday. Sincerely, Josh Craig, YouTube user Venom1276 returns. What's today? Don, my sketches suck. Murph, I drew stick figures. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, now you open up yours now, MJ, since you need to have one for you to open. Yeah, I can't, you know, these are for both of us. Oh, they're for both of us? I'm saying, you know, these are not just all for you. Yes. <coughs> People are sending stuff to me, too. Well. There's a serious letter here, everyone. Okay. It says, Dear Sean and MJ, I'm a long That's time... That's us. That's me. That's me! I'm a long-time viewer. Speak up so make sure everyone can hear you. Sure, let me read it. But it's, you might be a little quiet. For she said, don't talk that loud. But say, don't talk too quiet. It's only well, 12 you now. make up your mind? It's only 12 now, MJ. I'm a long-time viewer. I'm sure they can hear me. Okay. Jesus. I'm a long-time viewer and first-time mailer, if that makes any sense. Perk up. You get, a lot of, you get lots of things from people. It's... It, I woke up at 7 o'clock Just in, try and in wake the up. fucking morning. Just try and wake Cut up. Cut me some fucking slack. All right. I've been watching for about a year now. I mostly enjoy the DVD collection, Dunn Murph, and Around the Town videos. The reason I watch your videos, though, is because you're filmmakers, and I, too, am a filmmaker. Well, that's cool. I made a faith-based film about a year ago, and it was put in a film festival. That's very good. I was very proud of myself, and you should have been. And I'm very proud of myself. And it felt great to hear the audience's applause after the film was shown. Good for you. 
I'm a junior in high school. Oh, wow. Junior in high school. Good. All right. Now, he, he did this, and he got applauded, and he's a junior in high school. Good for him. When we were in junior high school, we didn't do much of anything. I know. We just, all, the, all our films were contained inside the school itself. I'm a junior in high school, and now when I'm done with college, I want to be, when I'm done with college, I want to be a director. Right now, I'm currently working on my second film. I encourage you to take a look at my YouTube page to see my first film, and then he posts it here. These are Miss, Miss, Miss Defil. Miss Defil. M-I-S-I-T-I film. A film, so we encourage all you to look at it. Don't worry, it's not that long. Please let me know what you think of it. Anyway, I congratulate you guys on your success, and I hope you have a promising film-related future. Very best regards, Alexander. Um, okay. P.S. I would have burned you a copy of my movie, but I just ran out of DVDs. That's okay. You know, when you get around to it, you know. Then we you can burn us one. We don't want to rush like. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next one. Next one's for me. And I'm gonna save it. So get ready. Stay still. Begin again. Begin again. Okay, this will be mine. This is from North Metro. Okay. Don't worry about it. And this is on school paper, the kind you write, double letter space, you know, school's paper. Dear Don, dear MJ and Sean, hey guy, guys, I was bored and saw that you guys had a P.O. box. I like your show and watch it whenever there's a new video. Bye guys and keep up the, keep the show up. From Connor. And he has a P.O. box. Oh cool, well thank you Connor. Thank you. We'll send you stuff. I'm opening this one. This one, okay, one more show, 101, 101, show on air. Show on air, 101, 101, I don't, okay. I think they want you to show what's in there. Oh, okay. So there's more than just a letter in here. I think it's like cards or something. There's something in there, I can't tell. Dude, there's cards in here. Yeah, that's um, what it felt like. What's that? Two for one drinks, Monday through Friday. Three great flash dance clubs to party at. Club? Wait, let me see that. What? Flash Dance Gentleman's Club. Ooh. Ooh. Gentleman's Club. I want to keep that in my wallet. Someone said it's a thing about the Gentleman's Club. Just play it a joke. Just play it a joke. A joke. 101. P.S. You guys are Wait a minute. I think this means laugh out loud. Oh. Don't you think? I'm wondering if maybe that's what he means. What is this? A fun card deck of real cards with large pickup lines. I'm not much of a card game player. I'm more of a video game player. You can play Go Fish, MJ. I don't even remember how to play Go Fish. The only game I remember how to play is, you know, Match. You know how to play 52 Pickup? And this is from Matt. There's a lot of people with the name Matt. Matt Did what? you send this? Why would I... What are you talking everyone about? Th everyone thinks your name is Steve now. At first everyone one... thought my name was Matt, then everyone thought my name was Steve. Yeah, one guy did this video and he's like... One I'm very said, upset to find out that your names are not Don and Murph, and they're actually Sean and MJ. But then I found out MJ's actual name is Steve. That's what he said. My name is not Steve. This is, um... No one's actually guessed what my name really was. I think this is from that same other guy. Dear Don and Murph, look, I don't want to bother you guys or take your time up, but I do have some questions about the videos you put on YouTube. <laughs> how do you... How do you... How do you do that? Yes, I have a computer, and yes, I don't have a webcam. We always said you have to have a webcam, and like that's all. The thing is, we both set that up. Where do you buy your DVDs? We we said that in the other one. All types of comes from very hardworking fam. What? A type that comes from a very hardworking family. So if you, if I do decide to go to a local store to buy a movie, it wouldn't be Walmart or Best Buy. I, but I I love both. I, I will not buy a no no used movies or DVDs. I'm not poor. I love to buy brand new. I do have some DVDs, but I do not have as many as, as you. But I love movies as much as you guys do. Thank you. I love these cool videos you guys put on YouTube. I do watch them every now and then. So please, when you guys get the time, please write me back. Well, we're saying it on here, though. So, yeah, you already know what we're... Yeah, so if you said it... I just think it's better to say it in the video, yeah. I thought... I think that was the guy who sent us the wedding invitations. No, that was the other guy who asked us those questions already. Yeah. The yeah. wedding guy didn't ask us. I'm, I'm reading that. Oh, you're reading that. All right, this one's from Bradley. I feel like we already got something from a guy named Bradley. Bradley Jenkins. Brad Taylor. 
This with a new girl every week. This is on school letterhead too. Show yeah. us school letterhead. Uh, they know what school letterhead looks like. Oh, oh, oh. They saw the last one, and I think that most of these people know what that is. Oh, all right. Unless they're homeschooled. Dear Sean and MJ, you guys are the best. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. I love your videos. Oh, okay. I want to make sure you can see my face. I love your videos, Sean. I really like your DVD collection update videos. I'm too a big fan of movies myself. I don't have a huge collection like you, but I still enjoy movies. Nobody has as big a collection as him. Don't feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a few questions for both of <laughs> you guys. First is for Sean. I know you like the movie The Peanut Butter Solution. I was just looking at the, 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 the tape of that a few minutes ago in the other room. Um, okay, Sean. I know you like the movie Peanut Butter Solution. I'm wondering, like a lot of people as a kid, did freak you out? I don't think it freaked me out. I think I always just liked it. I, I remember running it like... I saw it on something. I think I saw it on Nickelodeon they played it or something in the 80s really? or early 90s. And then I rented it. And I used to always run it with my friend Nell, I think. I think we used to watch that. In case you're wondering, I never saw it until he showed it to me a few years ago. And the other one I used to always watch was The Willies. I used to watch rent that like a, like a nut feed. And then there was Troll 2. And Troll 2. Which right. used to be in the fantasy section, which I don't have anymore. This is for MJ. How come in the early Don and Murph videos you didn't wear? Oh God, you didn't wear a wig, but no, you do, except in the October movie preview show. Just so you know, the wig's back again. The wig when we yes, the wig. The wig's back again. It was gone and now it's back. So is it just going to be back for those the things we're going to sell? Or is it back permanently? For the most part, it's back. It's back. If, gonna, you, if, if you want to know, we're going to do an official Don and Murph like. We're going to do a few Don and Murph movies, and we're going to sell them through this this thing. And we figure, you know, if you really, if, if, if they'll sell better and you really want them, like, to see Murph with the wig, we'll wear the wig. Yeah. The reason I... That's a scoop here. In the earlier, if you're asking, what was he asking? MJ, how come in the early Don and Murph, because you didn't... We didn't know about the wig then. We didn't even, there was no idea because you thing, had long hair. No, the thing was, no, Murph wasn't supposed to wear a wig. Originally, it was just supposed to be us with glasses and funny shirts with funny voices acting a certain way. It didn't matter what our hair looked like, but the thing was... I had long hair when we started, so he was established that way, but then I got sick of it, so I wanted to cut it, and I wanted short hair, and I never wanted to wear a wig, but the thing was, he had to have long hair, otherwise no one would watch anymore, so I got stuck with it, so in, in a way I did myself in, but technically Murph's not supposed to have a wig, he was originally always supposed to just have long hair. Originally what I should have done was started with short hair, so I wouldn't have to deal with any of that, I but, I, but I did myself in there, so I have no one to blame but myself. Alright, and MJ, except our ceremony of show, how come you, okay. How come you used real voice in the old Don Murph videos? Now Don's voice is different. I don't know why I did that real voice. I don't because Don wasn't established. It was you see established him over time. Yeah, because like over time things change and become better. Like remember how Pee Wee in the early things used to be more like oh yeah Pee Wee. Remember it had that we were different like oh yeah like Pee Wee. I was from Love Wing Girls. And then and then like it became like different. It changed. That's what happens. What just happens when you, when you establish a character that's destined to become very popular? Last question for both. What inspired you to do Don Murph? A dream. Well, actually, it was actually it started as a last minute idea for a project, actually. Yeah, that's what a school project. I mean, we've said that story many other times. And yeah, if, I, if we said it again, I'd have to go, I love that story. Which I'm not going to because I'm, like, I guess I'm sick of that crap. I hope you guys make more Don and Murph. We just said we are. You yeah. got the scoop on DVD updates and looking videos and vlogs. Thank you, your viewer Bradley. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you. Now on to the packages, and mm -hmm. one of them I already slightly peeked at from, for from, you, from Dan pa Damon Packard. That one's for you. Isn't I just I wanted to see what he sent to me because I loved his other movie, and he sent one that I'm really excited to get to watch. The untitled Star Wars mockumentary. Was he used like footage of Star Wars and added himself in and used footage of other things? Did you ever see this? No, oh, where did you do that for? It's a, a video. It was a joke. It's a mockumentary on Star Wars. Why is it a mock? What is what's that? Why is a mockumentary? It's a, it's, it's, a, it's not a, it's a spoof documentary. All right. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh wait, I think I get it now. Like the mockumentary yeah. on R two D two. Yeah. Oh yeah, those those are fine. Those are funny. I thought he was making fun of it for a minute. I'm like. No, these. This one we got like within minutes ago. Yeah, I had to run into the um, PO box, the post office, grab the thing. Or actually, I didn't even tell you this story. I ran into there today. We tried to get any of last minute letters or anything you guys sent, so we wouldn't have to wait till next week to see them. 
Um, I had to run in, and he was. We couldn't find a parking place. We didn't have any quarters, so we just kept kind of having to drive around the block as I went into the post office. I didn't have my ID or anything with me because, well, I wasn't counting on going out today. I thought we were going to be inside the whole day, and you know, well, crap happened. So, um, what I did was, I'm talking. Oh, I'm sorry. What I did was, I went, I went inside, and and I um, I got the letters, but then there was this package. And I had this letter saying, I was saying to, wait, I need my ID to get this done. And they go, yeah, you do. And they go, wait, aren't you from that show? I'm talking. Oh. They said, aren't you from that show on the internet? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I am. And they said, oh. oh. They said, wait, Don and Murph. And the other woman knew who I was, too. They're like, oh, yeah, Don and Murph. And we're like, what? And they said, I remember you. You had ID. It's cool. Here you go. And she just gives it to me. So it's like, you know, I, didn't even, I don't even need my ID to go in there. I love that story. Did you shut up about that? No, I already have it prepared to open. Okay, it's already prepared to open. I swear, I'm going to shove this in your mouth the next time you say that. I love that opinion. <laughs> oh, boy! Ah. Let me read the letter, and then we'll open everything. Hi, Sean and MJ. Hope you enjoy these gifts. The CD... By the band Wrath of Ropes, their lead singer, Scarecrow Riding House, is a good friend of mine. Crack it up and piss off the neighbors. You guys can split up the items however you wish. Keep up the great work. I love the movie reviews and have bought several films after viewing them. Mike, Mega Death Doomsday on your message board. Thank you, Mike. We'll go through the stuff. Let me just save right now. Hold on. Stay still, Jack. We're back. So this is from his friend's band, The Wrath of of the ropes. I have no clue what this is. Have you seen this before? Kevin? I thought it said Kevin Harris. That's what I thought. <laughs> I thought it was like, wait a minute. No, this is something I'm familiar Kevin, with. What is, Kev, what is this? Does anyone know what this means? I have no wait, clue. Wait, GM... You should just wear it out and see what happens. I don't wear white shirts, really. Oh, you don't? Not maybe, No, unless it's got stay puffed on it. Does it show stains? Now that you know. This is something I That's know. That's definitely in my size. Yeah, this is... That's definitely fat size. Have you ever played the game? No, I didn't. I've played it. it I like the Star Wars one a little better, but this one's still pretty fun. And the Lego Batman's coming out, too. Let me see, look. Lego Indiana Jones. Well, it looks more like my size, doesn't it? Yeah. The thing is, when, it, when push comes to shove, there are games I'm more fond of, so... This is There's a... more from the, from the 29 thing. Kevin Harvick. That's what I think that's a race car driver. Look at this. Did a race car driver send us this stuff? Maybe. This is um a Transformers car. It's Hot Wheels. Oh, Hot Wheels Transformers. It was a Transformers. I'd take it. No, like, it's a Hot Wheels Transformers. Tra it transforms? Yes. Let me see. What? <laughs> what? What? It transforms? Yes. Well, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping that. I have a Transformers collection. It's mine. Well, I'm, I have this then. Yeah, you keep that. I'm a race car driver. Look, I'm a race car driver again, see? Look. Sweet. See, oh, I told, sweet. I told you it transforms MJ. You don't listen to anything I say. Wait, it was like a hot... You're right, it is. This one's. This is mine. This T is the coolest thing I've gotten so T far TGH today. TGH Records presents television's greatest hits, Cable Ready. Oh, it's an Autobot. The Simpsons, Man About You, Murphy Brown, The Nanny, The Signing Women, NYPD Blue, and... and Alien Nation, Max, Max Headroom, and the Tracy Ullman Show. I and love the Tracy Ullmans. And I know some people out there be like, Sean's reading off that stuff, and MJ's geeking out about Transformers. Oh. I'm not geeking out. I'm not a nerd. Look, MJ, I have a new wallet. I'm appreciating an, an incredible series, which is Transformers. I have a new wallet, MJ. Good for you. Thank you. And here's this. Matt. What is it? Solids, Guns of Pair. Better. I don't know what that is. Gear Solids. I think it's like a demo of a game or something. Meta or Gear, Gear Solids. Model Gear. No, don't make fun of that. When I do that, it's not funny. Well, it's not funny when you give me crap. Meta Gear Solids. <laughs> Who's that guy? Look at that. I don't know. No, that's Simona Joe. Screen Guard. And Christy Hemi. Microfiber cleaning cloth. And here's a little something. I don't know what the... Let me see this one. What is this? The Blast of a Blueprint. What the fuck is this? It's like a, it's like a necklace. The burn, the born sees sessions, and CD baby. I am a trans. Best CDs you won't find at any local store. CD audio MP3. Put this on your computer. It's like a whole bunch of CDs. I mean songs. Well, this is mine. What is that? 
It's like a little chain thing. Oh, what is this? What's the image on it? Killer Zone Liberation. Screen Guard. Cleaning Cloth. I'm well, it. thank you for all these things. Thank you. These, are, these two are mine. What is that one? It's like a... It's like a looks like a transformer or something. Killer Zone Liberation. Why do you get all the things from the Transformers, MJ? Because I'm, you know, I'm the Transformers expert. Oh. Well, thank you. Here's this. And this is from my friend Paul. More from Paula. Yes. This stuff's going in my pocket. And she showed me this on the on. The, she sent made me a Pee Wee card cool. for that happy twenty third birthday, Sean. It was your birthday it was like weeks ago. I know, MJ. Hey, hey Sean, you. hope you had a, the best birthday ever. Enjoy the fat bastard doll, Phil. I'll send you more stuff in the next in the near future. All the best, Paul. Thanks so much, Paula. Folks, just you know, his birthday's over now. You can set you can you can just send us regular stuff now. I did something in there for you, MJ. Really? Look, and I got. Some M and M minis and the Fat Bastard toy. Thank you. I kind of think I look like Fat Bastard in a way. What do you have down there, MJ? What I have down here is my business. Oh. A chameleon beanie baby. What does this say? What does this say? Iggy. Date of birth, August 12th, 1997. He's 11 years old. Sitting on a rock, sitting on a rock, basking in the sun. Is this Guana's idea fun? Towel and glasses, book and beach chair. His life is so perfect without a care. This is Iggy and he's my Guana. Are you going to put him on your bed? Yes, I will. Along with Pinky. What does this note say? Hi, MJ. Just a little something to say thanks for the videos. I'll send you more stuff in the future. Sincerely, Paula. Funny stuff. I thought it was Ooh, a MJ, it's got d dirty stuff. You like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's America's Funniest Home Videos Uncensored, MJ. Un where does it say Uncensored? Look, see? Oops. So you're going to get to see, I'm going to get to see everything. What are you going to do with that tonight, MJ? MJ, Paula, you're giving us something MJ's going to be probably be using in strange ways. She probably already knows that. Yeah. Thanks, Paula. I'll this, definitely use Now, this, this. you've got to be very careful, anybody, when you open this. Because it can get all this stuff all over the place. Remember how the one time I opened it and it got that dust stuff everywhere? Yeah. You got there's, got there's a way you've got to open this. Like this. Otherwise, you'll be covered in dust. Be, oh, oh, be careful. Don't spray it in my face. Looks one of those classic toys. I remember I used to get these things all the time. These classic wrestlers made out of this cool material from 1984. That's for you, isn't it? Probably. And Ann Adam Foster, Dreamers Escape CD. Don't breathe in the dust. I'm not allergic to dust. He gave us three copies of it, MJ. Oh, one for me. Yeah, there you go. What? I guess he must have. This must be his music. What kind of music is it? I'm get, it's, I'm guessing it might be like synthish music. Really cool. I'm That's listening to this I'm one. Guessing. Because like dreamish music is always like full of synthesis. Adam Foster. It's coming in my throat. Don't breathe in air, MJ. You die. Well, die. Just make my throat dry. The Don Murph Show. Dear Sean, MJ, and Ethan. They even knew Ethan's name. I'm a fan of your videos, work as a singer and songwriter here in Nashville. In response to your latest video, I've included three copies of my latest CD. Feel free to en use any songs in any way you like. So we have some more music to use for our videos. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Also, since you said you wanted toys, I included an old WWF listing figure, Big John Stud. You all have to fight over that one. Keep up the great work. One day we can meet in person. Thank you, Adam Foresters. I got, I, we got to hear that music. If only we could play it some now, way like now. I'm going to go get the CD player. Uh, the video's already going to be 30 minutes, though. All right. Maybe we'll like open the next video with it or something. Okay. Now we got a poster roll from Eldon. Who is that one for? I don't know. 
from, uh, I think it's a Star Wars poster of the Ewoks. I think this is something you're going to like. Open it up, MJ. It's not just the Ewoks. Wow. Oh, it's all of them. Sweet. Oh, yeah, oh, from the old series and the new. That's a cool, you, you could put that on your walls, MJ. Oh, yeah. Everybody's, everybody's on here. Let's see, there's, let's see. Um, Look at Samuel Jackson. Yeah, Mace Windu, there's Chewbacca, there's Han Solo. Show us what people can see. There's some um, Obi-Wan. I, I, I can't really do it that way. Look, it's like this. See, okay. Um, Aunt, young Anakin. I mean, there's no little kid. There's a little kid Anakin at the bottom. There's a Java. There's 3PO. There's two Obi-Wans. There's Boba Fett, Jango Fett, older Boba Fett, Padme, Anakin, Darth Vader, Jar Jar Banks, Qui-Gon Jinn, ba Jabba the Hutt, Darth Maul. What else? Um, Count Dooku. You don't have to name everyone off, MJ. And there's, last but not least, the most powerful one, my all-time man, Yoda. You know, all of them. I'm taking what about, remember the one story you used to always say about the one guy who, who originally me. looked one way, but then he, like, he originally looked like a stubby guy, but then he went out in the sun and suntanned with the makeup on? You mean the Emperor Palpatine? Yeah. You mean like um, Lord Sidious? Yeah, originally the Emperor in, in Star Wars. This Man is a fact that no one knows, but it's true. He used to be. He was originally going to be the Studley Emperor guy. Remember the Emperor? I was always like, um, he's like, you know, what I'm talking to. He's like, your friends are pitiful. Well, originally, originally, originally he was they wanted to, to be like a guy a like, your friends are pitiful. He's supposed to be like this, like, like have this really pretty face. Like, remember the prince and Enchanted about how he has, he was, you know, Cyclops, yeah. and he was, they put all this like fresh makeup on. He was, he was on. supposed to be this handsome, pretty boy like that, this really handsome man. And they put all this like, face, face or cream on. And, and they and, and they made him up to look like a handsome guy who's going to be like. Your friends are pitiful. And he was supposed to be, like, provocative. And then, like, for some reason, he wanted a suntan, and he went out with the makeup on, and it crackled into his face. And, and, and it got, got all wrinkly and white, and his eyes became yellow. And then when George and... Lucas saw it, he's like, wow. And that he's just like that. He just said, wow. And everyone's like, George, you no, no, ruined the makeup. No, just like that. Wow. No, no, no. But the other guys, were, remember, the whole cast was like, the makeup artist was like, what did you do to my work? He's like, you ruined it. He's like, George, he can't go on like that. He's supposed to be a young, studly guy who provokes Luke into coming to the dark side. How is he going to provoke him like that? And he goes, wow. He's like, no, this is great. We got to save. Stay still. Uh, uh. Oh, back. And this one is from Little Nard 19, YouTube member. Ready? Yeah, dude. Oh, I know who that's for. For MJ. Yeah, it even says for MJ. Whammy! Miniature tigers tell it to the volcano. Miniature tigers. Is this a CD? Is there two of them? There's one. What does it say? I guess there's one for you and one for me. Oh. For MJ. Oh, yeah, it's a Superman Returns comic. And no, in Japanese. I didn't say oh, it Jesus. wasn't. Oh, Jesus. Like this inspiring picture of me. Look. With your eyes crossed. Look. Isn't that like a... Kind of. Wow. This picture is like... This is like... I sometimes I like... I, I think that's how I see myself. Like, look. That's a really good picture of me. Jeez. It kind of looks a little bit like that one girlfriend you had, too. What girlfriend? I don't know. What are you talking about? What are you talking... You mean you? There's a couple of them in here of me. It's me in, like, all these different sizes. Jeez. Why didn't they draw one of you, MJ? Probably because I'm really hard to draw. You're just too ugly. No, people have tried drawing me, and they can't seem to do it right. Oh. There's a lot of Superman comics in the back here. Sky High, Incredibles, sweet. Can't wait to read this. Whammy. I like this picture. This is a... These are mad. If anyone else wants to draw us, it's like kind of funny to see yourself drawn. Thing is, I'm not really the kind of guy you draw in real detail like that. I'm like a cartoonish drawing kind of guy. You know what I mean? Like, oh. I'm the kind of guy you see in there, like, really... What's this? Open on camera. Open on camera. MJ, this is for oh, me. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. This is mine. Remember how every time I take, I'm just holding something. I don't even know it's for you yet, and you already know, and you steal it, and you act like a butt. Well, I'm gonna do it to oh. you. For MJ Kelly. Yes, MJ first Kelly. First class. First class, because it was your first class. And I don't see who it's from, but oh well. Kaboom. Okay. 
Maybe it's a drawing of you. Okay. I think I know who this is from. And so the lion fell in love with the lamb. Carlos? I hear that one more time. What is this? Wait, does it say in here if I can open on camera? Okay, yes, this can be opened. Is this from your internet girlfriend? Um, well... Or your internet boyfriend? Because you have two. Mm, Which one is it? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh, Death. Look, show... You, uh, I'll it's, show. Well, they say something in the back, too. They do? Okay. Death is certain, life is not. The only thing wrong with immortality is that it tends to go on forever. Yeah, I know. Death. Life. Did you just cut a fart? I no. Heard, I heard a little... I think that was the chair. Oh. And so the lion fell in love with the lamb. Look at this thing. Yes, right. I know who these belong to. They belong to you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to put them up on my wall. Thank you. Lamb. This is from Arthur. And I say, hey. Black Christmas for MJ. I get a black Christmas. I, I always wanted a, a white Christmas. And Hellraiser, Hell World. Wait, that sounded wrong. I mean, you know, it's, you know, snow everywhere. And this makes it sound like it's going to be real dark and there's going to be no snow. You two are, to MJ and Sarn, you two are funny as hell. And funny as hell. And also cool, Thank too. You. Your videos... You two make are great and funny. Anyway, I'm a big fan of horror films. So Sean, on here is Hellraiser Hellworld. And MJ, here is Black Christmas for you. Thank you. Hey, you two should sign up to on LiveVideo.com. It's a cool website for your Don and Murph show because you can do it live. It's it funny and cool because Tommy Chong from Cheech and Chong is on there. He does a live show on there each month. You can meet a lot of new people and Black nerd comedy come he is funny you you go and look at his website black nerd is also on live video too so live video is a kick-ass website from arthur aka art 666 on youtube and, say, hey, and this is for you mj thank you and this is from me wow i have no clue what this is brick it's belladonia belladonia Okay. Yeah. Is it? A, you think it's an erotic comic book? Don't know. Oh. This is from um. Mont Montclair. No, it's not from Montclair. I don't. I don't see a name. Think? Can we think we can say it's from Montclair? I guess. Who do you think Montclair is? Is it a person? I don't know. You can wear that around your head if you'd like. What would I do that for? I don't know. Man. What a sphinx. Here, MJ. Oh. Here, MJ. We got more cards, MJ. Look. Is someone spinning around a joke just to send us cards or something? Hi, I have a, a few DVDs that I didn't watch anymore, so I saw your video and I decided to send a few of them. First is Rocky, which you probably know is a boxing movie. I got the DVD maybe two years ago. I never watched it. The second is Family Guy Freaking Sweet Collection. They are the creators of, they are the creators' favorite episodes of all time. I don't know if you would like these, but I'm at least giving them to somebody. Finally, the last DVD is Goosebumps: How I Got My Shrunken Head. I already have. I already own this one. You do. So this is yours. Well, thank you. Rocky, you don't have goosebumps. How I shrunk my head. Don't you already have that one? I don't know. I don't have any of the goosebumps. I'll have to see if I do, and then we'll decide who gets it. I don't have. Which I don't own any of them. You own goosebumps. Do you have Rocky? I do not own Rocky. Well, thank you. And then he said, finally, I sent you a deck of cards. I did because if you watch my videos, they are focused on magic card magic. I don't expect you to suddenly buy a card. Magic DVD, but I thought I would give you something a little extra. Sorry, if if any of those have scratches, they are un, un, or unwatchable. I hope that you like the DVDs. Keep making videos. Piggy Production Six Six Six. You notice a lot of other things have Six 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 on them. 
Yeah, I've gotten that a lot lately. Now, one of these was for you. This is for you. And this is for me. I guess we can open them both at the same time. Biocraft. If I remember this dude. Oh, this is one thing I, I said that young at heart. Look, MJ, look ah! what you got! You got Alvin the Chipmunks! Radical! And I got, thank you! Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna geek out when I get home and watch. Because you don't this. have this, you were going crazy about wanting a copy. Thanks so much. And you and you've got it now. I love Alvin and the Chipmunks. Well, now you've got it. How do you feel? I actually feel like I've, my day's been made. Yes, see, it has, MJ. I'm gonna see? play with my transformer car, and I'm gonna watch this. And you play with your wiener when you watch those things. Yeah. Did, I, did I say that out loud? Well, thank you so much, Keel. Right at your door. I had not seen this one right at your door from Jay Lee. I've been wanting to watch this one. Have you seen this, MJ? Right at your door. No, I have not actually not seen this one. How about right and I always looked at it and wanted to watch it. How about right at your window? Yeah. It's like, why are you playing with your hair? You know you're wearing a blue shirt. Wouldn't it be scary if you went in your kitchen and you saw one of the knives were missing? Quiet. Why are you still sitting in the corner? This is from Daphne. What, what is that line from? Daphne? Daphne. From the Daphne is, you know, I think Sco the Scooby-Doo. Yes, that's who it is. They sent us Rain Man, MJ. Rain Man with, with Dustin Hoffman. Have you seen Rain Man before? No! You haven't? Tom Cruise. That's Tom Cruise? I never knew Tom Cruise was in that. I knew who Dustin Hoffman was. Tom Rain Cruise Man. Was... Special edition. And it says it's, for, it's from Amazon's Marketplace. Best picture from 1988. What's that movie about, anyway? You know, Dustin Hoffman, you know, is autistic. I'm not, what? What? That's not funny. That's not funny, MJ. What? You've seen Rain Man before. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. Oh, I was thinking, I was thinking, how have you not seen that? Are you messing with my phone? What? Did you do? I didn't do anything. Well, everyone, thank you so much for all this stuff. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? I thought there was more. That's it? Look at all this stuff we got. Okay. Are you greedy or something? No. Don't be a sphinx. Do not be a sphinx. Mr. Everyone, it's my birthday. Don't forget, it's my birthday. Send me stuff on my birthday. I'm sure when it's your birthday, you're going to be telling people it's your birthday. Well, yeah, because you egged me to do it. I didn't egg you to do anything, MJ. I didn't egg you to do anything. Well, thank you for everything, everybody. It means a lot. You asked me to do stuff on the internet, remember? I like that picture of myself. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm going to play with that Transformers toy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with it. The rest is going to be like one of the mini cons. So, everyone, we'll see you next week. Um, right here, same time, same place, for the same sort of whited out looking video. And we'll see you next Friday. See you next Friday.